it is Heather once again, and today I wanted to show how to set up keybind, which when pressed will teleport your character to hideout. First of all, create an aura and add a trigger which will be tracking the hotkey. In my case, I will use F8 and also do not forget to change that mode to from toggle to click or hold because we do not actually want this aura to be toggled by that key. We just want it to activate once whenever this key is pressed. And the next thing we want to do is add an action and this action will be sending some inputs to, to, to the game client. And the first key which must be pressed is enter. Then we want to enter some text. In our case, it will be slash hideout plus uh, it is usually worth changing input mode from each symbol individually to paste via clipboard because if game client supports it, it will be just faster that way. So we will change it to this and do not forget to add the second enter which will commit the command. Also from, from testing it seems that it, it is worth adding some delays in between command entry and um, like the actual committed commit 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 of the command because game client takes some time to process this and yeah that's that's mostly it now if I will I will press my keybind my character will go to hideout but let's let's add some complexity to this by default when you're adding some hotkey is active trigger this key will, will no longer be available anywhere outside of IORS. So it will intercept those key presses on, on the system level and will suppress them if this checkbox is enabled. It usually is more convenient to set up IORS in a way which will make it intercept key binds only if some condition is met. So in our case, for example, we want to IORS to intercept these key presses only while game we, game client is active. It is very simple to do. So we have an aura which tracks whether this window is active or not. So aura is called window is active and it has a single window is active trigger. We have added it in the previous video. And all I have to do is click on advanced and link that that condition that aura to this trigger so from now now on this keybind will be tracked and intercepted only if game client is active and that's it and this will make your like overall configuration more flexible and the same, the same could be done with our primary key, which en enables or disables auto auto automatic potions. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's how I use it. And that's it for today.